Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for this month catching up on K-pop which I know there's like tons of music video that came out last month and this month too so with so many groups coming out with music videos and everything I noticed that I definitely have like a handful of groups that I follow very closely and I check each of their comebacks and everything and these are the groups which I'm more invested in and then there's like a whole entire universe of groups which I am aware of that I've, you know, checked once or twice before on my channel and on my own as well. And there are many, many groups which I'm not like keeping up with necessarily. And on top of that, there are another layer of groups that just debuted and I'm not aware of them at all. And so this just, it's just like this superposition. And so yeah, lately I noticed that I'm definitely like behind, I would say, when it comes to like groups from this newer generation. I hope you guys understand there will be music videos that I you won't see on my channel obviously. I can't react to everything. Now yeah the lineup for today's video and tomorrow's video uh, is consisted of a Acid Angel from Asia. SSS generation. I don't know. Iris, uh, Pink Fantasy, Alice, Classy, BBZ and then my own contribution to this lineup is Itzy Boys Like You and uh, 10 Birthday. And I have to say that just by this lineup alone, you can tell that a lot of you guys, either it be on Patreon or YouTube, are fans of girl groups. I think it's actually thanks to you guys that I got to broaden my horizon, you know, when it comes to music and like accepting uh, girl groups and everything. So I think if you didn't like suggest so many girl groups music and I don't think I would have that you know open mind that I have nowadays so thank you for that anyway okay so Pink Fantasy um I did react to them before on my channel they are typically the type of group which I'm aware of I've already uh you know checked on my channel and everything but I don't follow closely or whatever and I have to say clearly you know that me not checking a group does not mean they're not good I mean, I'm sure you are aware of this. Like sometimes I feel like I need to say it because just in case. <laughs> All right. Get out. Bizarre story. Get out. Okay then. English captions. Wonderful. Let's go. It's a rather short music video, so. Oh. Wait, isn't it the group with like the bunny members? The creepy sound, they nailed it. Ooh. Yep. Oh, okay. This only got so much better. You know what, I'm almost relieved because with such creepy concept they could have gone a lot more creepy and like bloody and everything. Okay, that's fine. This is like, I can... They literally broke their bones for this. Holy shit. <laughs> no. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 
not me saying this was a like I can tolerate this much uh, creepiness and then I just lose my footing. Anyways, um, that was embarrassing. <laughs> what I oh, one of the things that I hate the most about creepy stuff like this is whenever there's like a childlike laughter. Like there is something that is incredibly like viscerally creepy about just creepy child laughing. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, it's haunting. There's something about it. It's not so much as I uh, how shall I say? You know, the first time I watched Pity from Dreamcatcher, for instance, this is one of the first music videos that comes to mind when I think of like, oh, this is creeping me out. Like visually creeping me out or like girls by nature for example you know these music videos are not necessarily bloody or gory but like it's just like the hinted intentions that you can see or not see uh especially in the music videos that creeps me out to the bone and so here all i want to say is that you don't have those subtle hints of like being in danger it's like pretty much you know straightforward you understand that this is a creepy concept spooky concept right from the bat so the creepy effect is brought through the melody of the song you know it's, it sounds like those music boxes it's like they nailed the the the, the creepy concept sound wise the visuals are quite you know of the music video is quite simple so like minimalistic you know but they nailed it on the sound like the music box thing the, the the laughter and everything the bone breaking sound as well basically to sum up how i see it if i divide the whole thing in three you know particular boxes it would be like the song then the music video then the dance those are three elements that i look at here the music video is quite simple right so there's not much to say about it but because the music video is so simple i think they were really smart at like making it up by making the dance so great and making the dance fit the melody of the song and the creepiness of it the bone breaking sound and moves that matches with the dance and everything it's brilliant that's why i say that you don't have to have a high budget to create a high quality music video if you know your shortcomings are you know in the production of the music video in terms of like you know sets background stuff etc then you make it up by having a more a, a dance that is which construction is maybe more you know like flamboyant or whatever or more multi-dimensional to make up for the lack of like background or like props you know what i mean okay this ringing sound as well such a great transition to the bridge. I mean, to the dance break and then to the bridge. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, what is it? Even the makeup is kept pretty, pretty light for such like creepy concept. That's why I'm saying like the whole visual aspect of this is pretty simple. I think they could have easily gone heavier on the makeup or like even just the effects. Hmm, I love how this right here looks like, you know, two eyes and then the set of teeth and then you have the logo that appears and it looks exactly like that. That's nice! I think they did everything right, actually. Like, yes, it is a short video. I don't think they could have done more than with the, what they did right there. I'm gonna try to keep my commentary, like, short and sweet because I've got, like, a long schedule today. <laughs> so yeah, this is like a great spooky season song. You know, I posted, I think it was three weeks ago or so, about wanting to do like a song day, song day covery, uh, where I ask you about suggestion and then I put them in a video, you know, in a short video. And obviously because of what happened uh, in Itaewon, you know, I decided to not put out this video out of respect, which is, yeah, pretty normal, I think. I'm pretty sure I saw that someone recommended that song for that specific topic you know of like spooky season halloween uh theme so yeah that definitely fits the fits the theme that's for sure all right moving on we've got iris with bye bye iris have put out so many music videos wait let me just check their channels re really quickly there you go yeah so like wanna know then we've got stay with me and then bye bye they've been like they've been active so i technically know three out of the four members i 
did not even know that Red Square were not together anymore. It's, like, that's what I'm telling you. Like, there's so much going on in the industry, like, too quickly. Too much too quickly, you know, and it's really, really hard to keep up, I feel like. So, all right, all right. I, yeah, I've seen three of the members already. I don't know Nina. All right. There's no English captions. Well, let's go. Being underwater stresses me out. Like this is gorgeous, but it stresses me out. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Are they supposed to be mermaids? Because of the sequin. Oh, I like her voice. That's right. Yep. This is one of those songs where I feel like it feels more Western than K pop in itself. No, this part is very K-pop. It's just a great mix of both. Oh, that's good. That's really good. She's got a mortal face. Okay, I don't know if it if it's because of my earphones or if it's the quality of the music in itself. But like it feels like the bass are slightly too like the volume of the bass is like too high or something like that. And it creates like noise. <sighs> okay. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, not yet. Um, chest kiss. The same way as I felt for um, Limelight. <laughs> Oops! La. Eye to eye, last uh, catching up on K-pop. This is another song which I like hidden gem. I would feel, at least in my opinion, because if you guys didn't like come to me with these suggestions, I wonder if I would ever click on it. Like there are groups that go under my radar. Like I can't. As much as I would like to think of myself as like the connoisseur of K-pop and like being like up to date with everything. I'm not that person. I wish I was, but I, I'm not. And so 
I have to admit that I don't think that if you didn't give me this, I would have clicked on it. I, I don't think I would have a know of it uh, if it wasn't suggested by you guys, honestly. And these moments like this make me feel incredibly privileged because at least I have you guys letting me know these type of songs. And if I didn't have you guys, you know, sharing that with me, I would have missed out on so many good songs. Like so many good songs, incredible songs. These are, these songs are great. They don't necessarily follow what the trends are nowadays, but I think that's their charm. That, that's what's charming about them. They're, they're really, they're really giving me like old school, not necessarily old school. Eh. This reminds me for, like I said, it's like a great mix of like K-pop and, and, um, and Western, you know, music. And so automatically I thought of this. It's been forever since I listened to that song. Such a good song, oh my god. So yeah, that's what I was talking about. This, for example, Heartbreak Hotel uh, by Tiffany is like the perfect example for me of like a great mix of like more Western sound and K-pop. And so this song fits the same sound, I feel like. Okay, I really do think that this song, the bass or whatever it's called, you know, like that doom, doom, wow, pitched too high or something like that. It sounds kind of like noisy. It's like when an image is noisy, you know, this is grainy. And so that's what I'm talking about here. It's like the same sensation, but like for sound. I don't know if it's like intentional or not. It's like a warm melancholy. It's like, yeah, tears are there, but at the end, it it feels relieving to have cried those tears. Yeah, now that I've cried all the tears of my body, I'm like feeling so much lighter, if that makes sense. It's, that's what's going on at the end right here. I love it. This is really good. This is really, really good. Oh, right. So like last time I read it with Limelight, Eye to Eye and this one, those are two gems that I discovered thanks to you guys. I'm gonna check the profile because from what I understand, they're a group that is being... No, that hasn't debuted yet. And this is like a subunits. That's a long ass name. Okay, so if they just go by A, A, A is fine. All right, so let's see. Right, so their subunit of the girl group Triple S. And, oh. 24 member girl groups. What? I mean, I'm acting surprised as if you know, NCD didn't exist. I, I wonder why I'm still so surprised by such numbers when NCD exists, like seriously. You know the stages from like music shows and everything? I've been to uh, the show, I think it's called like, yeah, I've, I've been to the show and like in reality, those stage, the studio in which they film those stages and everything, it's tiny. It fits maybe like an audience of like, I'd say, 60 people more or less and then you've got like a small stage for like the MCs to record their little you know meant and everything and then at the back at the very back uh you've got like the stage and the stage is tiny and so you're telling me that when they debut they will have 24 members to fit on that tiny stage like like whoever comes up with the choreography is not just a choreographer anymore it's like they have to think in like Ikea type of things, you know, like, 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 you know, like, oh, you know how in um, like female, uh, uh, what is it? Street woman fighter or like um, street men fighter. They have that mission that is called mega crew. This is a mega crew. The, this girl group plans to combine the NFT. Mm. <sighs> Why though? This is one of those ideas when I feel like they should have kept it in a draft. Like this idea of combining the worlds of NFT and K-pop, just leave it at K-pop. Why do you have to put NFT in there? Members will rotate between the group, units, solo, etc. chosen by, oh, ooh. Uh, how do I, who, how do we feel about this? Chosen by the fans. I feel like this could backfire. Like in itself, I understand the idea 
because we always say like oh can you imagine if this member i understand i understand because like i do feel this way for like some of entity's music or like units etc but giving the power to the fans could backfire I'm on the fence about this. Uh, they will present a new dimension every season with new concepts. The fans will also be able to participate and communicate with the content of the group. They are currently releasing members. Their subunit are Acid Angels from Asia, who debuted on October 28th, 2022, and Crystal Eyes, who will debut in the future. The whole group plans to all debut some way unit etc in 2023. Okay. I'm gonna sound like such an old person. <laughs> But like when I got into K-pop back then, I don't remember it having so many lore or like having so much like so much like a, of a universe being created around the groups that debuted. Like they debuted and each comeback they had a concept. Like uh, they would they would e either keep it or like they would have like a red thread. Like I'm thinking of like um, BAP for example. They had that red thread of them being aliens and like this matoki thing and so this was the, the red thread but their concept kind of like fluctuated throughout their careers so like when i think of like kwangya that sm is like creating and everything we can see now some connections from like past music videos but i think they're like not intentional necessarily it's like oh it fits the narrative that it is in kwangya and so they're just rolling with it maybe i'm not totally convinced that like twins from a uh, super junior was put out with Kwang Ya in mind. Do you know what I mean? So like, I feel like it's definitely a new thing, this whole lore and like, you know, universe thing that is being created immediately when a group is debuting. They used to not be so many as compared to nowadays, you know? Also a thing is that I think for nowadays, they are, the stories and, and universe are so much more intricate than before. Like for BAP, like I said, it was, they were like aliens. That's it. <laughs> the lore in itself wasn't that complicated to understand whereas nowadays you really have to dig deep you have to like try to understand and make correlations etc it's like you have to be like big brain nowadays to like follow along so all oh, right anyways english captions are on okay please let's go <laughs> you know as much as I would like to... Do you think that I'm above this? I'm addicted to my phone. In 50 years, people are gonna ask us, like, what did the 2020 look like? <sighs> and you show them that. That's it. Oh yeah, now we we speak French now. Seeing that, I can't help but think that new jeans. really just like started this wave of, you know, the whole Y2K thing. Not that they started, but they contributed heavily to it being trendy again. Ooh. Oh, angels, that's why the wings, okay.
Okay, what's up with 82 though? See, that's what I'm saying. There's... The idol of all possibilities. Interesting. Groups from this generation has made me so aware of the tiniest little elements. Like, this... There's no way in hell that this she just, like, casually just pushed on the 82 uh, button just because. No, this, there must be a reason behind it. But let's keep it short and sweet. This was great. This is to me a great example of sometimes less is more. I'm just talking in terms of like the song. It's simple, it's easy to listen to. You don't have to like try to wrap your head around what the chorus is, what the verses is, etc. You, you know, your brain has no difficulty digesting this. It's just, the chorus is just made of la la la. So like this approach to things, it's almost like, you know how the ABC song or like Twinkle Twinkle, Little Stars, like those songs follow the same melody every time. And by doing so, it is like easier to get stuck in your head by keeping the melody super simple and then just using that la 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 thing all throughout the chorus. It makes it so easy to listen to, to remember. And also it's like international. Like, la la la, like, I think every language has that sound, possibly, so, like, that's international. <laughs> the way they say décadence is so cute, like, I never thought décadence was, like, a cute word in French, really. I think this is actually the first time I say the word décadence. Never in my life have I ever said that word before. Like, why would I? Décadence, what does that even mean? <laughs> I do feel that uh, my French level has dropped tremendously. Décadence, la décadence, isn't it like when it's kind of like crazy and stuff? Wow, la décadence. Okay, la rousse. État de... Non, non, non. État... Uh, fuck. État d'une civilisation, d'une culture, d'une autre... Uh. Ah oui, qui perd progressivement de sa force et de sa qualité. Commencement de la chute de la dégradation. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's kind of like either people or like society that's getting out of order and, you know, it's degrading. Décadence. Décadence. I just love me, French person whose first language is French, having to Google the definition of a word because a K-pop group has used that word in their song. Wow. Anyways, so yeah, I can't help but like seeing this and like the styling, the dancing as well, and the, um, the editing of this be reminded of um hype boy for example and honestly i think that there were aware not the girls you know but like i'm saying like the team who worked on this uh music video and everything production etc i'm pretty sure they were aware of what they were doing and they for sure they saw the association being made made and i mean when you see the success that hype boy and new jeans had with their whole like y2k fresh simple music straightforward and everything it would be stupid to not follow the same structure i'm not saying that they are copying uh new jeans or whatever it's just like it's trends right trends are being followed trends come and go and everything and so right now uh this is what appeals to the general public and so it would be stupid not to do what works at the moment that's how like this industry works you know like with trends and everything it's oh okay I should have done this much earlier. Kim Nagyong is Bibi's little sister. I did read that somewhere. Oh my god, yes! Wow, I was born uh, 12 years apart from her. Holy shit, that's crazy to me. Okay, wow. That was really pleasant. I enjoyed it a lot. So, yeah. Uh, now, let's move on to Itzy with Boys Like You. And this is their... It's a pre-release, but it's entirely in English. And I did watch the teaser for this, and I think I'd say like 90% of us who watched the teaser were all reminded of that Taylor Swift song. Like, I'm not a Swifty, but even I know this song. So like, you know, it's um, I'll be the princess, it's a love story, baby just say yes. That, that song, I think it was, I don't remember the title, but anyways. 
I'm sure by now some people must have created a mashup. Uh, I'm sure people are quick to do stuff like this. So anyways, I'm still gonna put the, oh my God, I just love seeing this long ass list of language. Oh, I love it. I wished I could at least understand like three of them. I wished, and oh, not French, ew. <laughs> I don't know why, even though I'm French, I have this visceral reaction to anything that is French. Like, not that I don't find the language pretty or whatever, it's just, I think I've been too used to English and like consuming content that is mainly in English or like English sub that if I, <laughs> if I hear like French dub or like sub and everything, it, it just doesn't feel natural weirdly enough. So anyways, boys like you, let's go. Ooh, I want, you know, in a Prince music video, drunk days in this. Ooh. Oh, he's a player. Okay. They're so funny. Oops, uh, sorry about that. Okay, this Avril Lavigne kind of like punk, like she was a girl, he was a boy, kind of aesthetic out of it. Oh, you know he's... I wished! <laughs> yeah, no, I got... Oh, she's... Mm. This is like Taylor Swift meets Avril Lavigne. I'm kind of living for this. I see through sweet little lies and every excuse when you start every fight. The blame is on you. I'm red flag and I'm gone. Already on to the next. You shouldn't even wait for the first red flag. You must be going crazy. Thinking I'll be back. I'm sorry because you're crying like a baby. But I look like your mommy. Take a look into the mirror if you want to watch. Weirdly enough, I never imagine <laughs> you guys. The audacity of men. The audacity. I never expected them to do something like that. Girl, he did that. Okay, 
Oh, shoes on the bed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, just already, just like shoes in the house is already like, <laughs> like, I'm Asian, right? I'm only half Asian, but still, the shoes are left outside or like in the whole entry, you know? Uh, but like, shoes on the bed. No. <laughs> Anyways, I was trying to say, I don't think this is a song that they would ever attend. And yet, this is probably one of the most enjoyable songs they've put out recently. I don't mean to say that I did not enjoy, you know, sneakers or whatever, but you guys know how I feel about that song. I just, I'm just speaking based on my personal preferences. You know, a lot of people enjoyed sneakers and to each their own, I respect. Uh, their opinion just was not that amazing to me, honestly. And when I reacted to uh, blah blah, I said that this is what this was more of like what I was expecting from them on a regular basis. You know, like when I think of Itzy, it's kind of like that type of sound that I'm expecting. So hearing this, I don't even know how you would describe this. It's like a pop punk type of sound. I don't know. I don't know. But like they make it sound great. That this was very very enjoyable this was easily one of the most enjoyable songs like i said recently that they put out recently i don't think it holds the same like quirkiness that we find in some of their earlier songs and everything it also doesn't necessarily follow the whole the whole you know like i'm doing me like i'm confident etc it doesn't have the same uh message as some of their korean concepts but which makes sense because this is like an english pre-release song okay i'm just gonna replay the high note because uh <laughs> Just because of that high note, I just, like, just because of that, I'm gonna say that this is one of their best songs. <laughs> just because of that high note, like, after all this time, after all this time. It's funny how this, like, the storyline of this goes from them kind of, like, battling themselves to get that dude, but once they noticed that he was actually playing all of them for another girl that's when they were like okay we gotta come to a truce or whatever and just make peace between us and and move on from that guy i feel like this storyline could have easily been one of those like 20 like 2005 movies or whatever just where girls are like fighting each other for a dude, like, please. <laughs> I think there's a character development in this storyline, which is great. And I know like, it's not like a serious thing or whatever. It's fine, it's lighthearted. It's like not that deep, seriously. But like having a woman being portrayed in music videos, or whatever, as if like they're, like they're fighting each other for a dude whose audacity is to play all of them and another girl on top of it is like, nah, we better than that. <laughs> But yeah, thankfully there's like character development. It's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna fall for boys like you because um, the audacity, the audacity. Anyways, I have to say, line distribution, screen time, and everything. Dare I say, this might just be their best. Dare I say, also I love the music video, like editing and everything. I really like this. Contrary to what I was actually expecting, honestly, like, like I said, it's not something that, it's not a sound that I ever imagined them doing. And yet it fits them so well. I really like this. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet, which I don't think I managed to do, but like, I'm gonna keep this rolling. I'm gonna check in the next video, Alice, Classy, BBZ and 10. And uh, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you to the patrons for voting, by the way. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Bye.